Welcome to Night Sky Notebook. My name is Peter Detterlein, and this is what's happening in October 2023. Let's begin with moon phases. The month starts off with the third quarter moon on October 6th, new moon on the 14th, first quarter on the 21st, and full moon at the end of the month on the 28th. Jupiter is going to make two appearances with the moon this month, at the beginning of the month on October 1st, and at the end of the month on October 28th. Notice the Pleiades are going to be nearby as well. The moon is going to be swinging over to them on October 3rd. It'll be just below the Pleiades. Now the moon is going to be bright. It's definitely going to be bright, so that's going to be a bit of a problem to see the Pleiades especially since they're only about two degrees apart. That's about two pinky widths held out at arm's length. Use binoculars though, for a much better view of these two objects. They really are spectacular. If you wait till about 1.15, you'll start to see Orion the Hunter moving up in the morning sky. Draconid meteor shower happens every year on October 8 to 9, best after midnight. And this is a really interesting meteor shower because it's either good or it's not so good. Sometimes you can get 15 an hour, sometimes you can get 500 an hour, although that's very rare. This will be a good time to see this event. The moon is not going to be a problem because full moon is at the end of the month. So if you get a chance, Check it out. You can look anywhere in the sky for this. But the radiant, where most of the meteors come from, will be near the bright star Vega. Venus and the Moon, the two brightest objects in the nighttime sky, get together in the early morning sky of October 10th. Look for these in the next few months. It is always a beautiful, beautiful sight to see. The big event is an annual solar eclipse, October 14th. Now, a total solar eclipse happens when the moon blocks out the sun and we see the beautiful corona of the sun behind it. That's not gonna happen here. And the reason for that is because the moon is further away. And because of that, it will appear to be smaller and won't completely cover the sun. Now, if you were in the Western United States, then you would see it as what we call an annulus, a ring of fire. Basically, just the edge of the sun will be really bright. From Southeast Pennsylvania, it's not gonna to be total like that it's going to be partial and just kind of slide past the sun. I want to be clear about this. There is no safe time to look at the eclipse unless you have special solar filtered glasses. There's a link here. You need to click on that link and read it before purchasing. Unfortunately, we have substandard glasses that people have been trying to sell on the market. And that's really bad for the eyes. And this is nothing you want to mess around with. There is no safe time to watch this eclipse unless you've got the approved solar glasses. So make sure you read that article first to find out where they are and where you can get them. Here in Pennsylvania, it begins at 12.05, maxes at 1.21, and it ends at 2.37. Take a look at this beautiful event but make sure you do it safely. The Orionid Meteor Shower. The Orionids are leftover pieces of Halley's Comet, and that makes it always kind of exciting to go out in October and take a look at the sky and see some of these celestial fireworks. They have a maximum of about 25 meteors an hour. And it shouldn't be too bad to see them this year. The moon's not really going to interfere. So get a chaise lounge out, get a sleeping bag or a blanket to put over to keep nice and warm and enjoy the sight. Go make some wishes. 
October 23rd, Saturn and the Moon. Saturn was in opposition last month. Jupiter will be in opposition next month. The Moon is going to be leading the planet Saturn as it goes into the western part of the sky around 10 o'clock p.m. Take a look at the closest and the farthest solar system object that we can see with just our eyes. October 24th, a partial penumbral lunar eclipse. So when you have a solar eclipse, everything is lined up for that. It's going to be lined up two weeks later or earlier for a lunar eclipse. And that's exactly what's going to happen. If you find yourself in Europe, you're in great shape. If you're going to be in Pennsylvania, it's going to be a bit different. You're only seeing the very end of the eclipse, which is the penumbral shadow, which is very, very subtle. My friend Gary Becker always told me that if you put sunglasses on, it might improve the contrast. And I think that's worth checking out. If you can take a look at that picture of the moon, that little section at the bottom is just slightly darker. And I mean just slightly. So that's going to be kind of interesting to try to differentiate. Most people, if they didn't know this was happening, wouldn't notice anything unusual at all. This part of the eclipse will happen when the moon rises at 6 a.m. on the 24th. By 6.26, about a half hour later, it'll all be over. And finally, on October 28th, the full moon comes up with Jupiter. Jupiter is the big event coming up for November, because it's going to be at opposition, the best and brightest of the year. But quite frankly, right now, it's pretty much at the best and brightest. Great time to see it through a telescope, and it's a great time to take a look at that in the moon. What a great way to start and end the month. Get out there and enjoy the skies in October. There's a lot to see. I look forward to talking with you next month. If you want more information, please check out my blog at Night Sky Notebook at blogspot.com. Until then, keep looking up.